FLX Beer Reviews back again with another non-alcoholic, aka near beer review. Um, Sorry, I'm just being athletic. Oh yeah, so we're getting ready to drink a some sort of Gatorade type beverage. <laughs> Hardly Gatorade, like Mike. It. Oh, okay. Uh, but man. this beer or near, near beer, beer. non-alcoholic beer is, uh, or they call it a non-alcoholic brew. That's something. Oh, okay. Uh, anyways, this is from the Athletic Brewing Company, and this is their Upside Dawn Golden <laughs> Ale. So, yeah, look at that oh, bad boy. Okay. Yeah, it's a great-looking label. Um, so this beer actually comes courtesy of Athletic Brewing, and oh. they're uh, located in uh, Milford, Connecticut, in San Diego, California. All right. Uh, this near beer contains less than 0.5% ABV. Uh, I love how they have all the... ton of great information. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like all the nutritional facts. Yeah. I mean, I was reading the thing about the, the it's brewed to be gluten free. They're, it's got gluten, but they take it out. Yeah. So they're not sure if some is still in there. So, I mean, they got all the information one could want from uh, yeah. non sports drink beverage such as this. Zoom into that. But uh, yeah, 45 calories for this uh, 12 ounce can, uh, 10 grams of carbohydrates, less than a gram of protein, no fat. Ingredients. Good. Water, malted barley, oats, hops, wheat, and yeast. Sounds like beer. Uh, Athletic Brewing Company, we are pioneering a craft brew revolution. Okay. And uh, we believe you shouldn't have to sacrifice your ability to be at your best to enjoy great brews. So we created our innovative lineup of refreshing non-alcoholic craft brews. Packed on... 312 2024. Cool. Okay. At the time of filming, we're about two weeks out. Yeah. So super fresh. Uh, do you think anyone at Florida State drinks these uh, before any kind of uh, athletic skirmish they're about to engage in? Probably not. Okay. Right. I'm, Mike, I'm learning about Mike near beer. Just because so. it doesn't have alcohol in it doesn't mean pro athletes are crushing these before they go out and. Do their, I totally messed up that pour. That's all right. Here, let me give you some. I'll, I'll give you some. Here. Okay. No, I think we're in just the opposite scenario. <laughs> <laughs> it was bound to happen. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. That looks like clear beer. Uh, okay. Kind of a slight haze to it. Yeah. Uh, or golden color if you want uh-huh. <laughs> uh it's got a kind of a rocky foamy head on it it looks like uh you know super watered down orange kool-aid is what it looks like i don't know if it comes across on camera but or a slight case of dehydration that too <laughs> it's gonna whiff on this thing whoa that's bright citrusy yeah, it is. A little yeast in there. Ooh. <sighs> Slight, like, like crackery notes, like maybe saltine or something. It smells delicious. It smells really good. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not gonna say it smells like Gatorade, but cheers. Thanks, Athletic. <laughs> Super spritzy. Super airy. Yeah. Bubbly. Kind of folds around. It, te- it definitely tastes like the oats and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, malty. Malty. Mal- malt forward. However, it does have that really, uh, a little nice pop of like a zesty lemon in there. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, it finishes. It actually got a nice like kind of drying, clean. Is- not, not clean, but a nice drying uh, finish to it. Yeah. They're like just on the back of the pal, a little bit of dryness, but I, I get a real nice like orange kool-aid citrus note to it everything's very subtle like it's there but it's kind of subtle like i think you could crush this like i've already crushed it i mean yeah i'm trying not to but it's like uh, i don't know why i don't know why i'm restraining myself. i mean this isn't bad um for the amount of any beers i've had this is gotta be one of the better ones this is i mean can you tell that so there's always that tinge in there there's a tinge in a beer and i think uh you know the body is you can test you can tell it's it's not alcohol right right but i think not, that's not to the degree where you, you just take it and say no i'm done with you no i think this is this could be like your lawnmower and a beer driving around cutting grass 
pop them all at the, your uh, stopping points out there and, yeah. and just hammer these. I enjoy it. Uh, yeah. For, first uh, offering from Athletic. I'm not yeah, disappointed. What do you rate it? <sighs> Dude, did we come up with like a, a near beer scale or? I, I guess know. it's just the same. It would be just zero through five again. <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm, I'll give it a... I'll give it a solid four. Uh, I'll start the bar here, and we'll go from there. We got some different styles, but I think this is delicious. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a four, too. Yeah, it's really good. First one from Athletic does not disappoint. Dude, I would totally, yeah. Like, I'd pick up a 12-pack of that. If there's a scenario where I just want some beer or something, and <laughs> don't want... Yeah. <laughs> not for nothing. I don't know. Could you, like... I could... Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I could drink these at the gathering. Oh yeah, because like you've said before, like it it it'll scratch that itch of oh maybe I want like a light pilsner or something mm -hmm. or a golden ale or, or something. I, I want a beer, but I don't I don't want a beer. Yeah, I think this would scratch that itch. Yeah, all right, uh, fair Good enough. Stuff. Good uh, stuff. Down in the description below, link tree, uh, everything we do. If you want to get a hold of us, right there. So uh, yeah, see you later, gang. Cheers. Cheers.